Hi guys, Karen here with another video. And today I have a really quick recipe for you guys. So been playing around in the kitchen and um, went to the global market with the Hubster and found these Canton noodles. And I was intrigued by them because I was trying to find glass noodles. And um, I looked at the back and it said that they cook in four to five minutes. So I was like, hmm, that sounds interesting. So it's kind of like, um, you know, uh, kind of like a ramen sort of thing. So um, because you can cook it, these noodles, you can do soup noodles. So like a ramen, fried noodles and cold noodles. So I'm going to try them today as a um, like a stir fry a fast one so I did it um, I tested it out and it was absolutely delicious <laughs> and so I'm gonna share it with you guys today uh, you probably already made it before but it was fun for me so it's a really quick recipe you're going to uh, start boiling your water and that's the other fun thing I use the essential oven um, the 3.5 essential oven uh, to boil the noodles. Um, you don't need a huge pot. Um, so that's what I'm using today. And I'm going to use the five quart brazier in the color chambray uh, because um, when you want everything to cook almost simultaneously, you want it to be finished like your, when you stir fry your vegetables, you want it kind of to be finished at the same time as the noodles so that you can mix them all together and get all of the noodles nice and coated because these noodles you do not want them to um, sit in water or uh, sit in the pot waiting for you to uh, bring them over to uh, mix them in with your stir fry so uh, what you're going to need today so I have leeks from the garden um, and on top you see garlic chopped um, you're going to need tofu or whatever protein that you're going to use um, here I have collard greens from the garden um, or you can use whatever greens you have like bok choy and I have some broccoli from the garden as well um, then over here I used hoisin sauce soy sauce I used uh, a, a, like three-fourths of a cup of soy sauce because remember well I didn't tell you so if you cook this whole batch it's going to serve probably about five people so you want to make sure that everything is well seasoned um, so in this cup, I have three fourths cup of soy sauce. I have a tablespoon and a half of hoisin. Um, here I have the ground chili with fried garlic. I used a heaping teaspoon. You're going to need some oil and I added a teaspoon of sugar to it as well and garlic, uh, one clove chopped. I forgot to add, um, the mung bean sprouts as well. So I have some of those. Um, to add so let's get into it so I added the garlic and green onions first now I've added the tofu to it now I've added the mung bean sprout and now I'm going to add the broccoli and the collard greens add my sauce And this will allow the collard greens to cook down a little bit. Now that our water is boiling, I'm going to add the noodles. As you can see, they're pretty easy to manipulate and they just break apart by themselves in the water. And yeah, in about four, three, four minutes, they'll be done. Okay, guys, remember these noodles are true to their cooking time. So you want to avoid them getting soggy. Um, and remember, they're likely going to cook a little bit more in your sauce. So I'm going to start transferring them over to the brazier. 
Here the noodles all transed oh uh, uh moved over to the brazier. So now I'm just mixing everything in together. I'm gonna finish mixing this and show you guys the final product. Okay guys, this is the final product. It tastes delicious. Um, you guys should try it. One thing that I found that I really like a about the noodle is that um, it is it holds its um, it holds its bite. So it's not gonna get super soggy or anything. Once it's once it's mixed with your um, sauce, it just it stays the same. It's absolutely delicious. Um, try the noodles if you find them. Like I said, I got them at my um, local global market. Um, and I'll be running back to get quite a few packs of them. Um, this is a really simple recipe. Um, the longest time will be chopping your vegetables. Um, you can use bok choy. You can use whatever. I just chose to use the um, items that I had readily available from the garden. The garlic was not from the garden, um, but the broccoli, uh, leeks, and the collard greens were. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys found this recipe um, helpful and quick and easy. Let me know if you're gonna try it in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!